Hey everybody, Sean Bukowski here. Hope you're all having a great week uh, as we cruise into the middle of September. Hey, I want to talk a little bit about some good news that actually happened up in Dallas um, this week. Uh, a company called Frontier Communications, they're based out of Connecticut, has announced that they're moving their headquarters to Dallas, which is obviously uh, great news. Anytime you get a, a large company that's moving uh, operations and headquarters to your town that's always great news it's great for not only dallas but uh all of texas really um and so they have um you know they hoped in the next 10 years they employ about 3,000 employees in the dfw area um and it's just really uh like i said good news for for the for the area and this has sort of been a trend the last few years of corporations companies moving to not just Dallas, but Texas in general. I mean, Dallas has had a, a, a bunch of them. And, of course, in Austin we've had, you know, Apple and Google and Tesla and Oracle and, and countless others. Um, and it's, it's, it's really a boon to our, our state that we keep having these companies that are employ a lot of people and bring business to the, to the region come, come to our state. Uh, and they do so, generally they say kind of this, similar things. It's a very business-friendly environment. For a state, I know that doesn't always feel like way in Austin, but um, for the most part, compared to other states, it is, uh, and so that's um, it, it, that's it's, it's a good thing. There's not as much red tape that's cut through here. Obviously, taxes are low um, f- for the most part, uh, both for corporations and the people running the corporations, and as well there, you know, with all the universities and great universities we have in the state, there's a talented and skilled labor pool to choose from. So it's really uh, a great place to have a, a company if you're going to have one um, it, based in Texas. Obviously, the influx of new people, new jobs presents some challenges too. And we've talked about this so much. Please listen to the podcast, uh, Greater Texas, because we've talked about this so much in the podcast. Um, there are some real challenges to that growth. Uh, uh, one is housing, of course. We're, we have, especially in Austin, have massive housing shortages. Uh, and so with more people moving here, that's just going to get worse unless we meet those those burdens and, and continue to build uh, more housing. And then, of course, infrastructure issues. Um, there, you know, with roads and airports and energy, how many times have we been on alert here this summer because uh, ERCOT wanted us to limit our, our, our air conditioning and energy usage. Um, these are real issues, and, and not to mention water that's coming. These are real issues as we get more growth here in Texas that we're going to have to face. Um, and I think uh, it's important to just be aware of that. Obviously, we all want these companies coming here. We all want new, uh, new jobs brought to the uh, area and have boost the economy. But uh, we got to make sure we're aware of, of the burden that pro- brings to Hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, listen to our podcast, as I said. Uh, Subscribe to our newsletter and our YouTube channel. And otherwise, have a great week.